All right, Brad, so we've finished the installation for you. You'll see it looks a little bit different than your yeah. old panels. Looks uh, looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah thank really, you. Really nice. The guys worked really hard to get this done. There's a lot of work that goes into it. It's not your average panel, right? But the end result looks really clean, really clean. Yeah, it's great. So you'll see that they are energized, okay? But they're not programmed yet. So the next step of the process where we left it off is now we have to program and commission. So. I'll go through with the application and I'm going to program these. Okay. When that process is done, it sends you a link via email and you'll get a breaker map with everything printed out. So there will be no handwritten anything in here that you uh -huh. can't read. You'll Great. know exactly what it is and you'll be able to see that same map on your phone in the application. Great. So once I finish programming these, I'll connect with you again and I'll show you what to expect out of the span home app. Awesome. I'm All excited. Right. Great. Okay. So it's time to program the panels. And from there, we use the Span Installer app. And when you open up this installer app, you have two choices. One is go to the tech portal through the installation resources. And the second is go into panel setup. So when you hit that, it's going to open up your camera. And then you're going to want to find the QR code located on the back of the panel door or inside the panel up high. And to start the process, you scan and it's going to ask you to connect to Wi-Fi. That's the first part of the process is the panel connecting to the Wi-Fi. It's connecting and it says it can take up to 10 minutes. There we go. Only took what a matter of two. So then from there, we're going to enter in the, the home address and then it's going to ask some for some installation details. So span panel location, basement. Is there a flush mount trim kit used? No. Is this panel downstream of another span panel? Yes. From there, it's going to ask you to scan that upstream span panel to connect them. Select the size of your main service and the size of the, the breaker feeding your sub panel. It's asking if there's any battery storage connected at this time. No. Now it's asking if there's any solar AC tied solar inverters at this time. No. Is there a generator on site? Yes, we have a generator. Are we installing a span drive? That's the span car charger at this time. We are not. And from there we go into breaker details. So this first screen is going to ask us how many empty spaces are there. So we, want to identify every space that doesn't actually have a circuit breaker in it. And they're numbered to match the back plate. So I know from 14 down is empty. You simply toggle it empty. And then up to 19. There's feed through lugs at the bottom of every panel. It's a monitored space. You would mark that as empty as well. So here, it's telling me that this is where my circuit breakers are housed in the panel. Now it's asking me what the configuration is. I have no two pole circuit breakers, so they're all single circuit breakers. So I'm going to say as is continue. And now we're at the labeling process. All right. So we'll go to our next breaker. And now this next breaker is a standard breaker rating of 20 amps. And this is going to be in the basement. It's going to be outlets. We're actually going to say specifically it's for the AV rack. Hit save. And then you'll see everything we've put in actually saves in as a custom label. So when you're in the application down the line, you'll actually see exactly what we typed in. All right. So we've finished our install checklist through the application. Time to hit continue. From this point, we're going to run a panel test. It's going to run the test. All good. Hit next. Now we invite the homeowner. So this is the point where we type in the application, um, the homeowner's email address. And then they'll get the link from span to download the home app and link into their panel. Hit send. 
And then what it's going to say is share breaker map. And you have two options, share to me or send to me and the homeowner. So I'm going to hit for myself and the homeowner. And what that does is that gives us this breaker map all printed out with exactly what we programmed everything to be. And that is the completion of the programming and commissioning process for a span panel. So from here, we check in with the homeowner and make sure that they have the app downloaded, see if they have any questions on functionality and give them a basic rundown of how to use and engage with the application. And I tend to set up a, a follow-up about a week out just to make sure that they don't have any questions or make sure they're good with the functionality of everything. All right, Brad, so you should have gotten an invitation from Span. Okay. Uh, I finished the programming downstairs. Now you're gonna get the invite to join this application. All right. And just reviewing what to expect. The Span Home app, when you download it at first, just like this is a live application, it's a demo. When you connect our panel to it, the demo is gonna go away and you'll see your account. Okay. okay. So you'll see that once you're online, you can start tracking. If you were to have solar or battery storage, it's gonna show you that as well. But right off the bat, if we go to your circuits and your panel view, this is where you're going to see where your panel legend is. Okay. All right. And what everything's labeled as. And this is where you're going to have some on off control. So if somebody's taking a little bit too long in the bathroom and you wanted to shut off the lights, that sounds right good. here at your fingertips. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then from here, we've also got the ability to program your priority circuits. Okay. The always on circuits and then what we're going to manage with the power up management. Yeah, like the fridge, that yep. kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You want to make sure the circuits you want never to go off yep. would always be on and you have that ability to, and you can change any of this. If you ever moved things within the panel or added circuits, you just revise your program. Got it. Good to go. Okay. So you'll get an uh, the invite for the application. Yep. And as soon as you respond to it and log in, you're going to see that your panel pops up. Okay. Where you have two panels downstairs, you'll be able to label them custom main and sub panel. Okay. We can go through that. Yep. So then you can toggle from panel to panel and look at, look at the loads in both of them. Sounds great. All right. So we'll get that going on your phone and then I'll answer any questions you have right away. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Brad. So installation's complete. Programming's complete. We've gone over the Span Home app with you. Right. So you have all the all the information you need to start really looking at the Span product. Yeah, that's And great. taking control of your power usage here in the home. Perfect. All right. From here, honestly, I'd like to check in with you in about seven days. So see how it's going for the first week of usage. If you have any questions, I can answer them for you. Makes sense. And then outside of that, anything else in the home, feel free. Just call Heritage. Well, thank you, Tom. Really appreciate it. Um, it's a really interesting process. Uh, the guys did a fantastic job all the way through. Um, so really excited to be able to test this out and see how it can help us save some energy and uh, save some money on our, our energy anyways. And couldn't, couldn't say better things about how everything went. So definitely appreciate that. Great. I'm very happy to hear that. Glad to be part of it myself, but I'm also going to forward that on to the guys that did the hard work downstairs. Yeah, perfect. They did a great job. Yeah, they did. All right. You enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Thank you. Okay.